It's been another beautiful spring day out there today here on this Tuesday. Let's go ahead and check in now with uh, Jeff Ray. He's going to look at the forecast. Hey, Jeff. Again, we'll look down into Fort Worth, down to Sundance Square, where Habitat for Humanity is building a house down there. So, no, there are people who haven't squatted on Sundance Square and decided that's where they're going to build their next home. No, that is going to be donated, this house. The best news about this house right now is it just on the other side of that fence, Starbucks? Uh, 70 degrees, DFW. Dallas is at 71. Fort Worth is at 68. We have two points in the low 40s. We're at relative humidity is in the 30s. This is some very comfortable air day two of great spring weather. It is just weather to enjoy, isn't it? You can see there's nothing really headed our way, just some high clouds out in West Texas. So we're going to have another nice day tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll have a little bit more of a southeast wind. Temperatures will be a few degrees warmer, probably in the low 70s. Mostly sunny skies, just a few high clouds. Another great day for your Wednesday. Thursday, Thursday home opener for the Texas Rangers. And guess what? Another great day. 3 o'clock or 3.05 is first pitch. But we're expecting temperatures to be in the mid 70s and temperature will be falling gently by 7 o'clock in the upper 60s. But great, great day indeed. It'll be a little breezy on Thursday and we'll have partly cloudy skies. But you can see we close. Close the work week with even a warmer day on Friday, upper 70s. Then this happens. A cold front comes through, and this is a cold front. Look what happens Saturday and, and Sunday. Sunday's high is going to be in the 50s, so don't put away those winter coats just yet. We've got some cold weather coming in for the weekend, and we have a few rain thunderstorms, I think, in the way before we get there. This is Friday at noon, and the dry line is going to come towards us. Now, where we get some thunderstorms along this dry line might actually end up be in our eastern counties from the Metroplex and off to the east. This would be Friday afternoon and evening. The front comes through, some cold air comes crashing in. We get some rain and a few thunderstorms develop behind it. Most of that activity looks to be along the Red River and up to the north in Oklahoma, but the cold air will continue to pour in on Saturday. That'll be the shocker. Texas Motor Speedway, yeah, it's race weekend. We're talking about temperatures Friday in the 70s. That's a nighttime race on Saturday, 60s, Sunday, 50s, and a windy weekend in store for us as we transition to this colder air. You see these overnight lows? How about low 40s or around 40 by Sunday morning with a brisk wind? Guys, those are wind chills down in the low 30s Sunday morning. Jeff, I thought that stuff was gone and we were just over with it. <laughs>